I'm waiting for Josette. And I must confess, I'm, I'm a bit on edge. But as I, as I fidget, I am reminded of a quotation from Robinson Crusoe that seems appropriate for the moment. <clears throat> and now I saw, though too late, the folly of beginning a work before we count the cost and before we judge rightly of our own strength to go through with it. Hello, Jack. I think trusting Cuff was a mistake. After the last video, Josette wasn't sure how to proceed, based on the outlandish suggestions of the overstepping Detective Cuff. Ultimately, she decided to speak with the Reverend, if only to provide closure and the opportunity to move forward. The Moonstone is long gone, of that we are sure. As for who took it, well, I am not certain, but I am quite convinced it was not Paul Stoddard. And the more I think on it, the more I'm convinced that Detective Cuff's previous acquaintance with Lady Josette is a hindrance. He is far too familiar with her, I say. Far too familiar! Her trust in him, though this is to say nothing of her impeccable judgment, is misplaced indeed, and my own unqualified faith in him, and, and surrender to the feverish desire to solve the mystery, has blinded me. Blinded me to the damage that was being perpetrated on this house. I fear I am partly to blame for the state we are in. I was also sure Josette would be back by now. Well, I suppose I can... Uh... Welcome home, ma'am. Thank you, House. Would you mind please getting Detective Cuff? I'd like to have a word with him. At once. Ah! My lady has returned. I spoke to Paul. Yes. And I did as you asked. I told him about Maya leaving the house. How did he respond? He said, if I was being suspected like that, I would probably leave the house too. I'm inclined to agree with the Reverend. As am I. I see. And he said nothing more about it? Not a thing. Octavius, I appreciate you coming when I asked you. And I am grateful for your thorough investigation. This time, I... You continuing will only cause further damage to, to these relationships. My friends, my family. I think... I think it's best if you go. Well, certainly. I'll leave at once. I am sorry to make you leave like this, old friend. I'm only sorry I couldn't help you more. I'm sorry, did you need help booking a flight? No, House, I can manage the details. Octavius, make sure you see me before you leave. Of course. Yeah. 
Then it is up to you, detective. All up to you. I'm not sure if you heard Josette, but the uh, investigation is over. Ah, nonsense. The stone sits just beyond our reach. Your reach now. Do not give up to search. Promise me that. And perhaps Reverend Stoddard was a misstep on my part. I'll just go get your things. Quiet, man. It is not quite as we've seen before. No, someone is very clever, very crafty, and working against us. Yes. Yes, I, I believe that's true. You will happen upon three events in the wake of my departure. Mark them. First, we have not heard the last of Rosanna Spearman. Maya? She has yet some part to play here, guilty or otherwise. Second, Mr. Kipper will again make his presence felt. Sooner rather than later. Uh, I surely hope not. <laughs> uh, people don't just walk away from $11 million house. No, there's, there's a plan there. Be watchful. And third, expect to hear something of lucre the marketplace for stolen items. <clears throat> yeah. Anything else? Not a thing. Hmm. You've been an exemplary assistant. I have full confidence leaving this case in your capable hands. Well, I suppose it's a, it's a credit to your methods <laughs> and general good humor. Nah. Uh, enough of me then, huh? I'll get my things and be off. Best of luck and mystery to you, my friend. Keep me informed of your progress. Of course. <laughs>